This year we mark 10 years since Stoke-on-Trent Food Bank was established by Churches Together to meet the needs of those locally in food poverty. At the time, child poverty was reported at 29%, now it's 43% after housing costs are met, which means that many families may be facing uncertainty about where the next meal will come from. Thanks to the amazing generosity of local people, we've been able to feed locally over 115,000 people in food poverty during those 10 years. We give out roughly 10 tonnes of food per month. About a third of the people that we help are working, but through current circumstances cannot afford or access the basics. In 2021, we fed nearly 17,000 people, and by January of 2022, over 1,600 people had passed through our voucher system, up on the same time last year. Low incomes are being squeezed by rising food and energy prices. Our church centres are well placed across the city of Stoke-on-Trent and outlying areas. Supported by volunteers, they are open for 17 sessions to receive our guests for two hours each on a rotating basis, covering five days a week, and offering a warm Stoke-on-Trent food bank welcome, along with three days emergency food parcels. We are privileged to have been supported by our volunteers who have selflessly given their time over the years and another team have stepped forward enabling us to open a new centre. Our voucher-based system and network of professional referral organisations such as health centres, family support workers, housing charities, citizens advice, schools, mental health teams and charities work to ensure that those in real need can access our services. It's about more than food. We ask questions to assess the person's situation and signpost them on to organisations that can help tackle their food and money crisis, money matters, energy advice, job access, etc. Trussell Trust food banks have been proven to make a difference helping combat family breakdown, housing loss and mental health problems. And people who have been helped during these years tell us that it's not only the food that they are grateful for, but also the thoughtful kindness of a stranger donating that food for them. Like Advent is preparing for Christmas, Lent in the Christian calendar is a special time of reflection and faith in preparation for Easter. Some observe Lent with prayer and the act of giving something up, and many look to Jesus, his example, how he wants his followers to live. Easter, a message of compassion, caring love in action. Compassion originates from kampati, meaning to suffer with. Compassion is more than sympathy, simply feeling sorry for someone. It is empathy, realising someone's suffering in a way that perhaps affects you and you want to do something to relieve that suffering. It's showing caring love through action. We read in the Bible of Jesus' love for the people and the word compassion is often used. He had compassion for everyone. Constantly, he met with people and knowing what they needed, took action and made a difference to their lives. Whether it was feeding of the large crowd after they'd been listening to him all day long, whether it was welcoming and healing an ill, outcast woman, or the leper, or the many other social outcasts, such as the tax collectors. He helped the vulnerable and the poor and those in need. And we read these words from Matthew chapter 25, verse 35 onwards. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. Whenever you did one of these things to someone that was overlooked or ignored, you did it for me. The clue is in the passion part of compassion, defined as a strong feeling of enthusiasm or excitement for something or about doing something. It's active, not passive. Show compassion this Easter. Do something to make a real difference. And as the Stoke-on-Trent Food Bank, we have seen amazing compassion 
shown by local people from all sectors of society taking action, supporting us to reach people in food crisis, for whatever reason, including no money to buy food due to low income, low hourly pay or uncertain hours with rising costs or sudden bills, some other changes in their income, such as a change in their benefit support, which may have caused a delay or a reduction in payments. Stoke on Trent Food Bank is more than just food. Signposting people to where they need to go to get help. It's about compassion, taking action so that people can access services and the crisis that brought them to us can be dealt with. Stoke on Trent is a lead pathfinder food bank. Over the next five years, we'll be working on putting things in place so that people don't have to do return visits to the food bank. We are working with a network of organisations, frontline professionals, referral agencies, salt box, money matters, restart. This shouldn't be happening to people in Stoke on Trent when we're one of the richest countries in the world. However, we will be here for as long as people need us. We are extremely grateful for the ongoing generous support that we receive from churches, local people, families, communities and businesses and we value prayer for our work. Following on from our popular reverse advent calendar, we have our Easter 22 Ad Lent calendars, one for food collections or one for a money donation for the 40 days of Lent. 40 for 40 means 40 pence each day for the 40 days of Lent, that's 16 pound in total, which could be used to fund the transportation, storage and admin support for our volunteer manned church centres or pay to top up food or toiletries. See our website for more details.